Right, so I'm inside this fantastic design application which is totally free to use and it's called canva.com so you can go and find it at canva.com c-a-n-v-a dot com so once you've logged in you get presented with your personalized kind of dashboard here and you can see I've used it loads this is all the you might notice some of these images here from the gigging success blog or some of the examples that I use um, been using it for months now it's absolutely fantastic I really use it almost every day so um, those are some of the examples of stuff that I've used it for now you the great thing about it is they give you like a bit of a head start so they they give you these pre-done dimension template designs that you can work from. Now you can either work from those designs or you can use your own custom dimensions. But here you can see the variety of stuff that they offer you. Social media, images, presentation, poster, Facebook cover for the top of your timeline. You've got the Facebook post here, 940 by 788 pixels. Then if you click more, you get given a whole bunch of other different options here. Here's some email header stuff. Uh, business cards, some uh, flyer designs, some document stuff, there's some event, you know, postcard and card stuff, some ads, banner ads if you're doing any of those. So some really good options there to get you going. So what I'll do to start with is let's click on this Facebook post one. So what we'll do is um, we'll go and just see what the options are. So here you get the option to use one of their pre-done designs. Now uh, I'm just going to find one of these designs and just show you what's possible, um, and just show, and then we'll go and see how it might be really useful for you as well um, when it comes to the band stuff you're doing. So here, now ignore these grids behind here because um, you know they they go as soon as you download it. So here you can edit all the elements on this page. So you can edit this section here, and in it you can go and change. Uh, your fonts for example and there, look I can change it to permanent marker font I can change the size of it um, I can change the color of it as well um, now I've kind of ruined the design there but you get the idea and then again the same down here now with the image itself you can also manipulate the image how you want so you click this filter button here and you can go and fiddle around with these presets here as well which is fantastic or you can do it manually so loads of stuff and if you click this down arrow here uh, difficult to see but there's different some kind of transparency stuff and you can flip it around do loads of kind of stuff with it so it's really good so what I'll do is just show you how you might find an application for this let's say you've got a show coming up in a week you want to advertise it on your social media on Facebook on Twitter whatever that might be so first of all you want to get your image done so what you do is you go into this upload section here and you'll notice down here there's all the images that you saw in my examples before all the images have been downloaded from my hard drive into Canva so they're all down here look they keep them in here for you which is fantastic so if you want to go and find an image of your band you click upload your own image and then you go and find it on your hard drive and you just download it and it appears in this um, bucket here so let's go and find an image just to start using as an example so there we go there's an image and let's just f make sure that we space that right on the board here so to speak so there we go and then what we might want to do is maybe put a logo in there so we could again you can upload a logo uh, let me just find the logo here because I uploaded it before there we go so you've got the upload there so maybe let's put that logo down here then what you might want to do is uh, put like a headline across the top to announce that you're playing and type, date time etc whatever you want to put on there so here I would go into this text section here and in this text section you've got uh, two options you can either go and use one of their kind of manual text elements here so that means you decide which kind of font you're going to use so let's say you use this font and you want to up the set of the font by that size you can change you can change the color or you can even put your own hex color in there so if you've got colors that you really want to use you just put your hex color in there your hex code in there and here's another some other options here you can do like a transparency thing loads of different things you can do in there so it's well worth playing around with um, and what I'm going to do is just get rid of that 
um, because what we I like to do is use some of their pre-done designs. So here you've got on the left you've got a bunch of different free um, font designs, badge designs, almost logos. You could even design logos in here. It's amazing. So um, let's just take a little look see what options we've got here again I'm not going to make an amazing design job of this I just want to show you what is possible so let's take something like that for example that might be a good one to start with um, so what we can now do is edit the text in there so let's do something along the lines of live show tonight and let's just start with that and see how that one pans out so look, if you stretch that across there, look, it starts to look half decent, doesn't it? So there you go. Um, I think, could you get rid of this? No, you can't get rid of this bit here, but you can maybe add 8.30 p.m. Is that going to work, or is this design not allowing me much leeway? Let's see what happens there. Yeah, there you go. Passable, isn't it? So there, it gives you an idea, but you can do a bunch of different other things in here using all of these fonts and different badges and all that kind of stuff. So once you've finished that and you're happy that you're happy with your design, you can then just go and download it. So what you'll do is you'll go up here and you'll click download. You can either download it as an image or a high quality PDF. Um, sometimes if you're going to go and get your designs printed somewhere for business cards and that type of thing, they, they want a high quality PDF. Um, but in this particular instance, all we're looking for is an image. So we'll click uh, download as an image. Now it's saving the design and then it's going to kind of do some crunching. And then hopefully within a moment, uh, it will allow us um, the opportunity just to pick it off our hard drive. So let's have a look here. There we go. And let's just save that on the desktop. Saved on the desktop. You can see it downloading down there and in a moment let me just go and click on that oh, it's just come out in my other window here so I'm just going to drag it across and there is the image so we now can use that image that's saved on our hard drive we can use that image wherever we want to do now the great thing about it is if you want to go and edit that image all you need to do is you go back to your Canva account and you will find the image in there so there it is so I can then go and fiddle around with that make any amendments that I want download it and I'm good to go again so use this it's amazing it's brilliant it creates honestly fantastic designs if you just fiddle around with it get in there play around have a little look around um, get some designs done and uh, it's such a fantastic tool anyway I hope that's been useful and uh, I'll see you again soon